Hey, what's up, coach? Welcome back to the podcast. Today is episode 177, and the title of the podcast, If It Ain't Working, Do This. Before we dig into the episode, I want to make sure that you leave us a review here on iTunes. You know that I show up here every single day. I am extremely committed to helping you. The only thing I ever ask of you is to leave a review here on iTunes. Because the whole purpose of this show is to help coaches build strong businesses. And the way I can do that is by helping more coaches on our podcast. And the way that you can help me is by leaving a review. The more reviews uh, that are on our show, the better we do on iTunes and the more people we can reach. And really my end goal is helping more kids and I can help more kids by helping you grow your business. It's the only thing I ever ask. I know I beg for it every single day, but if you haven't done it, don't be lazy and just get it done. Now in today's episode, I've gotten a lot of questions recently about coaches that they'll ask me, well, Ben, I'm trying to do this on social media and it's, and it's not working, or I'm trying to set up my program this way and it's not working, or I've been doing it this way for years and it just hasn't worked for me. And you're hearing this from someone who is, is one of the most stubborn people on the planet, which is me. But I know that when you try to do something and it just flat out doesn't work, you have to be willing to pivot and change your strategy. Let me give you a really good example. And I feel like this is going to be very applicable to you if you are running into this problem. A, so a big problem is a lot of coaches charge cash or checks or they sell packages to parents. And what happens is they have to sell these over and over and over again. And then it might take, you know, four or five months for a client to finish your package when you thought they'd finish it in one month. And sometimes clients will forget to pay you. Sometimes you'll forget to ask for money. And ultimately you can't grow that way. And I used to do it that do that way. Like I did that way for years. And I remember sitting down with my business coach and they asked me, well, how, ben, how do you get money? How are you collecting money from parents? And I told my coach how I was doing it. And he started laughing and he was like, well, how is that going to work when you have more clients? And then I started laughing and I realized, you know what? Like I've been so stubborn for so long. I need to be willing to change. And it wasn't like that just with that. If you go back and listen to the B code episode, I had to change my personal life and I had to massively change that. Um, and this is one of those things that you just have to be able to look at the end of the week, at the end of the month, what you're doing, if it's not working, you have to be willing to change it. And it's different. If you think about if you think about starting your business and growing your business, that takes a long time. I'm not saying if you're not growing your business, you need to stop what you're doing and start a, a different business. I'm not saying that. I'm saying what are you doing within your business that isn't working that you need to change? That's what I'm getting at here. So you want to take a deep look in the mirror and see where you're at. And one of the things that I do that's very helpful is I record my daily wins. This way, at the end of the day, I can see what am I doing that's working and what, it, what have I done that, you know, it just hasn't worked. I don't write those down as a win if it's not working. So then you can calculate all the wins you have for the week and, and you can point to the thing that's growing your business the fastest. And then you just keep doing more of that. And then what happens most time is coaches get bored doing the same thing over and over. But if it's working, why would you change it? And if it's not working, like I said in the title, if it ain't working, you got to fix it. You got to be willing to make a change. That's it for today's episode. Make sure to leave us a review here on iTunes. If you want to learn more about our mastermind program and how we can take your business to the next level where you and I can work together, where I will mentor you head over to our website at www.buildmysportsbiz.com. Click on the mastermind button. And when you do that, it's very straightforward. 
you'll learn how we can get in contact so you can apply for that program. That's it. I'll see you on tomorrow's episode.